Hey Virgos, welcome or welcome back to the channel. Thank you guys so much for being here and showing all your love and support. I really do appreciate it. Please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And make sure that your post notifications are turned on. Clicking that bell. Okay. Let's tap into the messages real quick. If you need a reading, be sure to email me as it is on this channel. Let's see here. Message for Virgo. Okay, so we got the Two of Cups that's popping up. There's something about a person that, that may be wanting to share their feelings for you or you for them. I feel like whoever this person is, they may have lied or held something from you because they didn't feel or they weren't aware that you would give them an equal give and take. They felt like you would take rather than give from something or you would use love or how you they feel towards you to your advantage. But I feel like whatever is going on with a person internally or mentally they want to release they want to release it here okay i also believe that if somebody was in a person's ear or your ear about somebody that wants to you know spread the love to you or be with you they're not listening to these people anymore okay because it did nothing for them it didn't get them to where they needed to go and the goals weren't met efficiently okay but somebody also felt like they're they were on their own journey to learn and i do feel like somebody's in you know the best place in their life to now uh not be afraid or look over their shoulder or or whatever this is not being a part of your life or not being able to achieve what they set out to do made them feel very closed or, or want to keep things to themselves or keep things from people but I think that they sent a third party since y'all have been broken up or they've, they've used spying devices or whoever this is to watch okay somebody definitely feels defeated <clears throat> they're trying to decide what they want because wherever it is that they're at they're they're losing okay or this could be you let me go ahead and clarify this here what's this two of cups why is this two of cups here for virgo somebody could be born september 2nd yeah, somebody is definitely planning some type of action towards you or you're planning this here. Somebody is definitely ready to come clean because they feel like it's going to bring them the balance that they're missing or what they need. I'm telling you, somebody could be using scarcity tactics towards you or the person that wants to come towards you because they're ready to explore life with you. And they're not trying to allow this person to move. Okay, that's why somebody's been feeling indifferent to this whole thing. But I feel like somebody definitely went within spiritually to learn a lot of things. That being separated from you is what somebody wanted. Was their victory? Was it necessarily your person's victory? No. But they did learn how to heal from the situation that y'all have been through. But now they're trying to attract wealth with you. So learning to find themselves and love themselves again or put themselves out here is the best type of abundance here, okay, that they could have. Anyway, somebody could be seeing the number 2, 9, or 11, 911. Somebody feels like trying to get back to a balanced, healthy life with you in it or you with them in it is where it's at. Tell me more. I'm seeing 211 or 911. 
All right. So we have love in reverse. Somebody didn't know how to show unconditional love. But they realized that you are their soulmate. They could not forget about you as much as they wa wanted to. But they realized also that there was some selfishness in that situation where they took dating off the map when it came to y'all. Somebody was very free-spirited. Not only were they dating you, they were dating multiple people. So you could have been in a third-party situation. And I feel like somebody kept this from you. They didn't want to give you the definitive... Um, the definitive clarity that you needed. They didn't want to go into uh, detail about something. But that was because somebody was greedy. Okay. I heard you get what you pay for. Okay. So somebody was paying people to be with them. Or they were being paid to be with these people. Whatever this is. Whatever type of arrangement somebody wanted. Somebody realized by loving the wrong person made them realize who they were supposed to love. That is hard shit. Okay? Somebody could be divorced or a divorcee. You're also going to find that out too. Hmm. By somebody loving the wrong person made them realize how much they really love you. That is some deep shit. Somebody could be 29 years old. What's the message here? We have horseshoes. So there's some type of good luck by way of your, your spiritual team or something that is coming into full effect for you. Okay, if you're seeing... Um, I don't know why I'm hearing radish. If you're seeing horseshoes or a horse, or flowers, particularly pink, purple, or orange ones, this is all synchronicities of something coming in your life that will cause good luck. We have a fair woman, so dealings or relationship with a woman with blonde, gray, or white hair. I don't know what part this person plays, whether they are a family member, a, an associate, a neighbor, um, a sibling, a significant other. Beware of great pride. Okay, somebody's in their ego. Okay, you may need to act. Let me see here. Somebody could do something out of ego and pride. We have a new job or career with this pen. I feel like somebody that you work with could try you. Ah, this could be about a same-sex connection or relationship or somebody that you are going to have a fulfilling relationship to that you care about wow this is somebody that you don't know this could be a, a soul tribe member taking a vacation physically or mentally somebody wants to spend time with you but I feel like um, they're going to send you this message here could be a woman a Caucasian woman or somebody that's fair-skinned. Tell me more about this bird perch. We have bridge, successfully overcoming a problem. Successfully overcoming a problem. Successful outcome to your problems. Does somebody want to, like, financially like take care of you or they want to they want to do something somebody could be using finances as a way to get you to do things for them somebody feels like because they open the doors for you to have some type of career i'm telling you somebody's getting beside themselves okay somebody thinks that taking you on a vacation for however long they they present to you this trip that you owe them something you didn't ask for it. They offered. Okay? Somebody could be looking for you to be a resource to them. Or for you to do things for them. Like you're a gopher. What's this vine? Wow. 
somebody wants you to prove that you're ready for this career path or or the journey to something that will make you a star or allow you to go places in your life career wise you have triumph over troubles and obstacles so i was seeing uh november 2nd okay i don't know and then november comes out something here that you might have went through that created an obstacle in the month of november it's done it's done okay we have spiritual love here somebody needs to mark their calendar because there is some sort of justice that's happening that will allow your life to be balanced and allow balance into your situation here that evens the, the, the playing field or the scales there is no more there is no more of right that a person did than wrong everything's going to be balanced everything is going to be coming back to a reset okay let's see watch this watch this little cat so we have um Yeah, this 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 Caucasian female. Somebody is 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 getting out of some sort of bondage or mental confliction. Could be in prison. They're they're getting out. Somebody's getting out of jail. I feel like somebody's not holding it against the, the legal system for placing them in prison over something that they didn't do. It was only a matter of time before things got rocked. Okay, for the for the people involved that um that, that puts you in prison or puts somebody in prison here, somebody should, will not be in prison, will not be mentally in conflict, will not be mind-fucked by somebody. They're being freed. I feel like whatever somebody organized in order for it to be planned, it's mismanaged. Somebody is going to be stuck exactly where they go when they go out of the country or they try to do something they've never done or they would like to experience. Somebody is going to have a downfall of, of ex exploration, passion, or travel. Something's going to go wrong either with them going or coming back or while they're there. This is their punishment. Okay? Because somebody broke promises and broke into your home or something that you invested to, to regain wealth from. Somebody definitely did this. Compromising your situation that they are fucking failing at, at, at cursing you or doing rituals. Yeah. Somebody's memory. Somebody doesn't remember apologizing or confessing to something. That's okay. But God knows and they see what's going on. You don't you don't gotta remember or you ain't gotta recall. You don't hear Usher said you ain't gotta call. It's okay, girl, cause I'ma be alright. You're you're you gonna be alright. You gonna be alright. They ain't gotta call or even pretend like they don't remember because they do. Okay? When they thought God didn't see them, when they thought your spiritual team wasn't watching and protecting you, it's not okay. It's not okay. It ain't going to be okay for these motherfuckers that do this because they were never to be trusted because of what they tried to stop you from. They tried to stop you from having restoration adjustments and having things tended to. It's not going to be okay for these people. Okay? All they're going to have is pure conflict, whether they're in jail or not. They're never going to have a regular life because they strategically try to take you out of the game. Whether wounded, unalived, or spiritually um, being attacked. I'm telling you. Somebody could be seeing the number 65, 81, 70, 56... 59. I'm seeing a lot of fives here. Five, five, five. Multiple changes. Okay. What else is going on for the Virgos here? Okay, so somebody here is, is, is trying to figure something out. They feel like they're almost finished. 
okay somebody is no longer going to be in despair because of this sudden wealth that's popping up here there is a childless um, non-wealthy man that may not be concerned about what you didn't expect somebody's not concerned about the things that you didn't expect but rather what you are expecting you see how that works Somebody could be 32 years old. Somebody could be seeing 55, 55. Something is going to be increasing by two. There's a false person. She's blonde. This is a blonde haired woman. She's false. Okay? Remember what it said? Fair woman. Dealings or relationship with a woman with blonde, gray, or white hair. Watch out for the little puso, Aliasa. She wants to take away your means of, of getting money. She's trying to make sure whatever meetings are supposed to happen that will not happen here. We're binding and casting her out in the mighty name of Jesus. Okay? This is why it says this person will be in her ego and pride to make you do something for a little suck. Somebody thinks that you're desperate enough to do business with her or allow her to put you on so that she can use you as a gopher to do shit for her that she wants done. Do it your fucking self. Okay, so it looks like don't look in this person's direction for a, a career opportunity because somebody is trying to chastise or take something from you that you can benefit from by way of wealth or investing here. This main person that you work for or that you are going to be working with, they've been discharged from the military. It looks like somebody's losing everything coming back home into civilization. Yeah, this unexpected money that you weren't supposed to receive, baby, it's coming. They have to give it up. They have to cough up every Ross plot. They have to cough it up. And this woman with blonde hair is sad as a motherfucker, okay? Because this good luck has no expiration date. It has to come or I dead them dead. Hopelessness, death, and jail cells is what they'll get. Court, may I tell you? Homelessness, death, and court systems is what they're going to face. Okay? Period. They have to cough it up. They can't escape the shits. Tell me more for Virgo. Okay, something here isn't going to recover as much as you want it to. It's not going to recover here, Virgo. Okay, but you will be saying yes. You're not compromising this answer that you're giving to whatever is not going to be recovered. Okay, I do see here that you may be pouring out your feelings or somebody will be. Okay, somebody that may not have done this, they're going to be reaching out here for reconciliation. Hmm. Somebody here could also be self-sabotaging what they feel is better just to stay wherever it is that they're at. Don't do that. Okay, meditation brings answers here. Okay, so we have a workplace romance. Maybe this is what this Two of Cups is leading to. A common cause connection in your uh, career. What I would tell you, do not get mixed up in people that you work with, okay? We have separation. Time apart from your partner is on the horizon. You're going to be separating from somebody that you were with or you're going to be breaking up with the person that you were dealing with to be in a workplace romance. Within the next few months here, let go of control. Okay. So 
we do have your base chakra being activated at this time. Everything that allows you to be or have a solid foundation, there's some sort of information that you're already being given or that was uh, inboxed to your Akashic records, okay? There's some sort of paperwork or um, information by way of your spiritual team that tells you that everything is coming and it's faded. 521. Somebody could be seeing this on May the 21st um, in 5 to 21 days or at 5.21 a.m. or p.m. This could be as soon as the sun rises, 5 a.m., 5.21 a.m. here, okay? You're going to get this message where you no longer have to be comfortable at where you're at. You're going someplace further. This is something you don't know yet. Somebody wants you to be unaware of this information so that you'll always think that you have obstacles and challenges that you cannot break out from, okay? But something is going to be merged where... This woman, this Dati Oman, this fair Oman, she's going to understand that God is real. Everything that she tried to do, she should have never done. Because she ain't winning. She's not going to be recognized in the light anymore. Somebody needs to work on their solar plexus chakra, though. Okay? I do see, look, material harvest, material and spiritual prosperity, financial and material changes. Somebody is, Somebody's going to get fucked on the way. Because they hope that you wouldn't have your shit in order and your solar plexus would be, um, you would be disconnected from your chakra, your solar plexus chakra, that you wouldn't be able to sacrifice this. But God said, patience is a virtue. Patience is a virtue. Let's see. Expose the haters real quick. Expose the haters real quick. Okay, whatever somebody's root work that it is that they sent towards you, they don't want you to have protection so they could steal your ideas and pretend that they invented them. Somebody here is a uh, doppelganger. Whoever this person is also has a personality disorder. They don't know how to be themselves, so they try to take on um, different personalities that they like, and they're trying to mesh it into one. Okay, they don't want you to witness their karma. They want themselves to go through this behind the scenes, but you're going to have a front row seat at their demise. This is somebody that secretly keeps tabs on your every move here, okay, and doesn't want you to carry some sort of strength or use your tiger's eye. Okay, this is a scorned love. This is an old fling of your current or past ex-partner that still feels deep pain, deep pain of rejection and betrayal. Amongst your closest friends that are holding grudges against you. Career and money. Career, business, and money for Virgo. Okay, so we have luck. So anything you do now will be very prosperous. If you believe that you're lucky, you'll create an abundance mindset. Your perspective is stifling your growth and stomping on your luck. Okay, we have windfall. Luck and windfall. You're about to receive a windfall of money or pay raise. Money is currently in a positive cycle. This is a great time to heal yourself or make that big purchase. Okay, Somebody's going to be able to get enough money to make a big blood clot purchase. Thank you, Holy Spirit Divine. We have designer. You're being called to tune into your individuality and express yourself. A career in fashion, art, or any artistic endeavor could be just for you. Get creative with your finances. Perhaps it is time to discover a new talent so that you lead yourself to growth. Ignore what the motherfuckers got to say. here for Virgo. Okay, 
right? So somebody definitely here is wasting their time on things that doesn't bring them this, this boss energy, whether you're masculine or feminine. Somebody here is not being productive, not putting effort into anything. They want to work be beside or uh, behind the scenes acting like they're doing something but they're not so that people won't be in their head about what is going on with them somebody is drinking on the job or using their free time to consume themselves with alcohol look hangover i haven't even shuffled this deck i haven't even used this deck and on the top of the deck it says hangover okay somebody is using a clone of themselves to permit some type of work Okay, this is not who they are. Somebody has a clone here that they're using so that when they are drinking within their authentic selves, you can't even tell the difference. Okay, somebody has a clone out there. Somebody has been put through a 3D printer and has a direct clone of themselves. Looks the same, sounds the same, there's no difference. Okay, this is like some high-tech shit. Hmm. Tell me more about this too busy winning in reverse and in their head. Yeah, somebody is definitely has a um, obsession or uh, addiction problem to drinking. I feel like this is because they've gone through some type of love bombing, manipulation, deception, or pain due to cheating that a person did. They felt like a babysitter rather than a than a significant other, a girlfriend or a boyfriend because they always had to uh, find out what their, their significant other was up to or where they're going, who they're hanging out with. Somebody here felt like more of a babysitter rather than, uh, or over over a protective parent rather than a significant other. And you see, when things happen like that, it's time to let it the fuck go. If you have to keep track of what your man or your female is doing, it's a lost cause. Let it go. Okay, they're going to do what they want to do anyways, regardless if you, you're tracking them or not. This could be in terms of an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, male or female. Okay, I feel like somebody is attracting some type of like um, spark, whether it's professionally, creatively, or um, sexually. Okay. Okay. We have intervention in reverse. I feel like um, when it comes to your spiritual team, somebody's not doing their best to rescue other people that have gone through what they've gone through, okay? But I, I feel like somebody's using all of their strength to empower themselves and release whatever this south node of comfortability is bringing them, okay? Somebody is not paying attention to what they're supposed to heal from because they think that they can be Superman and do it all on their own. Or superwoman. Message for Virgo Holy Spirit. Give us the most clearest and concise messages that there is for the collective. Somebody's telling other people how to live. Well, how dare you think that you're better than anybody and your shit don't stink, but you have the most skeletons and bones climbing out of your closet because you think that nobody will know what you're going through, okay? Somebody is barely getting by. Somebody could be double dipping, illegally accepting money from two different resources, but acts clueless to see how far people try to take advantage Okay, somebody knows the secret of the double dipping and they're thinking and strategizing on how to come back so that they can manipulate you emotionally to keep the secret and also to steal your time and energy. Mm -hmm. I heard the word stalking, okay? Stalking. Somebody, I'm telling you, somebody is stalking you on social media. Creating, do you know how much time it takes to create accounts here? This is weird. You really are bored in your life. You have nothing better to do. You ain't got shit going on. Somebody's game is weak. They can't even get somebody to call them back. They always have to be at this person's service to call them hand and foot. I pulled that. 
what's the message okay so it looks like commitment marriage promises and fidelity somebody wants to uh, prove themselves by promising to be faithful to keep each and every single promise and to have some type of marital contract I feel like somebody here that may have been confused or conflicted about their feelings or what they wanted, they're no longer con conflicted about anything. They were just shallow. Somebody realized how shallow they were by using confliction to deflect from what they wanted. But they already released you. So what? what's the use? They're going to plead their case to you or you're going to plead your case to them. And they're also going to be using this uh, lustful energy to get you back. Somebody thinks that you're, you're pussy whipped over them or that you're, you're whipped by their, their cock. It's crazy. Do you know how much of that there is in the world? We just got to make sure that we're being discerning to find the right one before we hop on it. And we trust the person enough, but also protecting ourselves when we need to. Okay? Yeah, I just said protection. Somebody ain't somebody may be sleeping with a person without protection, or somebody don't have spiritual protection at all, which means anything goes. Okay? If somebody gets attacked, the attack is coming full force, 100 percent If somebody is, is wanting their spiritual team to protect them spiritually or um, in the physical, it's not gonna happen. Okay, because they didn't have enough faith in the universe that they would be taken out of a stagnant situation. So God's like, okay, I'm going to humble you. You didn't believe in me? I sure as hell don't believe that you could do some shit. But I understand. I'm going to let you learn a karmic lesson. The nanny. There's a nanny that is romantically involved with somebody's husband, the husband of the woman that she is watching the children or whatever this is, because she feels like there's some sort of good news or she's anticipating something that will be confirmed. Oh, wow. So somebody here is anticipating that a mutual acquaintance of both the, the father or mother, whoever it is, that is the nanny, it could be a male or female, that they're gonna, uh, I don't know, what's this ex-co-worker? Wow. So an acquaintance that could be mutually known by the person that you're employed to, as the nanny, there is some sort of plot of revenge against you and this person or one person over the other because of something that was cut short there was a short-term commitment when it came to a job a relationship or whatever this is it's a it's a relationship okay somebody here that is a married person could be dealing with could have been dealing with someone that they worked with remember we got work work situation Alright, let's see here. Message for Virgo. Okay, so we have daycare or fitness trainer. There could be a uh, workout room in a daycare or, or somebody here has access to a daycare in a gym. Okay, I've seen that before. Somebody could be purposely trying to start a fight in a place that you go to on a regular basis so that the business that you give somebody will be destroyed. Okay, look, there's a same-sex relationship. Somebody here that you might have been close to or um, you were around maybe accusing you of sleeping with the same sex. That could have been your karmic twin or soulmate here. Somebody is trying to shame a person publicly for the type of relations that they had. Private government case study. Somebody here is going to be poached to be a, um, a lab rat or a test dummy. Okay, I feel like it could be in terms of a, a living situation or 
um, there's some sort of experiment. Somebody wants to see how a person reacts to the type of living situation that they're in. This could be a hypochondriac or somebody that always thinks there's something wrong with them or Googles um, everything when it comes to their health. Okay, so we have brown liquor. We already know somebody's a junkard. Okay, somebody could be drinking while they're driving. This is a truck driver or somebody that drives trucks for a living, imports, exports. Okay, somebody needs to make sure that their money is being maintained and that they're, you know, working on certain areas so that they don't end up spending in one area around the other. Somebody could be telling people you're doing magic to them when they're doing it to you. You know why? Because you're a powerful motherfucker. And people are scared of that because they don't understand where it comes from. Somebody thinks because you're in the physical that you don't carry this confidence or this bold, strong, passionate um, persona that you're not, you don't have other avenues of, of, of strength spiritually. Okay. Yeah, somebody here has stank kitty. Whoever this is could have full custody of their kids. We have New York Minute. So a fishy kitty girl that has, um, she has uh, custody of her children. She's not taking care of herself. Somebody here is surveilling a person or someone has uh, hired somebody to put security cameras in their home. Somebody does not feel safe or they want to get physical proof of something. But you physically healed. All right. Anyway. Virgo, that's what I have here for your current messages. Hopefully it resonates. If it does, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, stay blessed. And I'll see you guys in the next one.